Hello everyone, Jen here, Golden State Times, and today we have a news story courtesy of YourNewsWire.com. And the title says, Thousands of fake ballot slips have been found marked for Hillary Clinton. The article goes on to say that reports are emerging that tens of thousands of fraudulent ballot slips have been found in a downtown Columbus, Ohio warehouse. And the votes are all pre-marked for Hillary Clinton and other Democratic Party candidates. Randall Prince, a Columbus area electrical worker, was performing routine checks of his company's wiring and electrical systems when he stumbled across approximately one dozen black sealed ballot boxes filled with thousands of Franklin County votes for Hillary Clinton and other Democratic Party candidates. He said, quote, no one really goes in this building. It's mainly used for short term storage by a commercial plumber. So when Prince, a Trump supporter, saw several black boxes in otherwise empty room, he went in to investigate. What he found could be evidence of an alleged election fraud operation designed to deliver Clinton the crucial swing state. So it goes on to say that early voting does not begin in Ohio until October 12th, so no votes have officially been cast in the Buckeye State. However, inside these boxes were one of the sources described as potentially tens of thousands of votes for Hillary Clinton. An affiliate in Ohio passed along a replica of the documents found in the boxes. It goes on to say that it is important to note that the above replica, replica coincides with the ballot that Franklin County voter could cast at the polling place on election day, meaning that the Clinton campaign likely goal was to slip the fake ballot boxes in with the real ballot boxes when they went to the official election judge on November the 8th. Ohio a potential swing state in the presidential election has been challenged for has been a challenge for Clinton and her democratic counterparts in 2016 many national democratic groups have pulled funding from the state entirely and in order to redirect it to places which they are doing much better clinton herself has spent less time in ohio and spent less money in recent weeks as it has appeared that Trump will carry the crucial state. So, I have seen that some people have said that this article is fake and that it is impossible for them to do that. Now, I have two things to say about that. One is it's not about that they're trying to put more vote more votes towards Hillary Clinton what they're trying to do is that they're trying to put fake ones like the ones that you see down here in with the real ones and when they go to count them they're going to get screwed up and they're going to say oh we, we don't know exactly how many fake ones are in with the real ones but there's two there's the other thing I wanted to say is election fraud with the Democrats is nothing new. There will be two um, two articles in the description below. One is evidence of election fraud in 2008 by Barack Obama. And the other one is election fraud in 2012 also by Barack Obama. But the second article is very interesting because it's not just one, you know, one at one piece of evidence of election fraud or not just one article. It's over 12 different articles of election fraud by Barack Obama, his campaign and by the Democrats. So make sure you go and check those out. They're in the description below. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this report, please hook us up with a thumbs up and also share this because you might be surprised if in just a few weeks, 
a few weeks after we posted this, mainstream media will, will come out and say, yes, we they found a bunch of, of fake ballots in Ohio. But you guys have heard it here first. So make sure you share this. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you guys join us in the um, in the chat for the next rally. Please go and check out our previous videos and stay tuned for our future ones. If you're new, subscribe. Also, hook us up with a thumbs up and whitelist us on your ad blocker. Those ads that you see before, in between, or after each and every report or on the live streams help us pay the bills and keep the lights on. And um, it also helps us bring you more news, more rallies, and more information your way. So yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Hope to see you guys here next time. But until then, peace.